Hello guys and welcome back to Renegade Travel Adventures. So last week I recorded a video at my first camping trip at uh, Tomoko State Park um, where I gave you a, a pretty detailed view of that campground. Today I, I figured I will give you guys a tour of the rig that we, uh, that we use to travel and give you some specs and some information that you guys may use uh, in case you're interested in, in traveling using uh, these type of vehicles. So this is a 2022 Renegade Verona, who I named Leonidas. Uh, he is built on the M2106 chassis. Uh, as you can see, this is the large um, semi-truck chassis. It's not the S2 RV chassis, but the M2109, which has the larger uh, engine compartment. Uh, this is just a sort of a outside tour of it. I'm going to be opening up the slides and and uh, showing you the exterior and the interior of the rig with all the compartments. So you guys get a uh, sort of a detailed view uh, of this rig. Um, and if you guys wanna uh, purchase or travel in this fashion. So why did I choose a uh, Super C, uh, these type of rigs uh, with the semi-truck front? Well, three main reasons that when we're considering traveling, the uh, Class A uh, really does not um, provide. Number one is safety. As you can see, here we have the whole front engine uh, of the truck, which if you're involved in a uh, front end collision, you have the whole engine protecting, uh, protecting you from the accident. Um, another reason why we picked the uh, Super C is towing ability. So this rig, you could actually tow 20,000 pounds. So that gives you, uh, that affords you a lot of uh, towing capacity for stackers or cars or boats, trucks, whatever you may want. I have a 20 uh, pound hitch in the back. Third reason why we chose the Super C is ease of maintenance. So for example, in a class A, you have the diesel engine in the back. The diesel pushers have the uh, engines in the back. And anytime they have to work on your rig or get to the back of your rig, it's really can be a little bit difficult because sometimes they have to go through your master bedroom and open up the, um, the compartment from your master bedroom inside the rig to get at more uh, uh, detailed parts of the engine. Where here, I can show you here in the Super C, Show you in the super c here you have the engine right in front ease of maintenance is very simple you have access to everything and you could act, actually drive or you know make an appointment with any freight liner uh, uh, diesel a service center and they'll take you right away if you tell them you have a uh, uh, l9 uh, semi truck front they'll take you right away whereas the class a's they're very hesitant uh, to take you just because it's so difficult to work on those engines being that they're in the rear so again here's the um, uh, here's the uh, Cummins 8.9 liter um, this has uh, I believe 640 horsepower and 1100 foot-pounds of torque and it's married with the Allison and transmission 3200 Allison transmission so as you can see, very, very sturdy, very robust. I actually uh, got it with the uh, American racing rims. <laughs> it gave it a little bit of a uh, more uh, robust look. So these rims are the American racing blackout package rims, uh, which look pretty cool with this uh, color they core. So we have many compartments here. I'll show you some of the compartments uh, from the other side. Okay, so let me just close up the engine compartment. And it's very simple just to, uh, to move the cover here, very simple. There, it's on gas struts. So they actually just come down. You can see it here. You just latch it down like this. 
There's the first one. And it's very simple to latch down and uh, prepare. Very simple. Okay. Here we are. So I will be opening up shortly. Uh, my compartments are filled with all of my traveling gear and what have you. But I want to give you just, just a sense of the space um, in a second. Okay, guys. So starting here from the rear, this first compartment here, it's a smaller one. But here's where I keep all of my towing flat towing you know gear and all the oils and sprays and silicone and what have you now just to give you a look this is what makes this brand the, the renegade brand so robust you know the way they make they make their own cargo doors you can see it's double latch double latch cargo doors and they're very very sturdy they're very strong and built it's almost built like a tank these things and they close like car doors Here's the next compartment which we have filled but it, it goes up and under there's actually space under there where you can slide things as well but we have it filled with many many things here's where we have our you know chairs and again see, see this you can see there's a little bit of a space in below because the actual truck frame goes over the compartment so you still have a lot of space here to store and you can also slide some uh, chairs and tables what have you under there which is great and this is a big compartment again this next compartment very large now this is the compartment that i normally put in my uh, fridge freezer you have a 110 outlet back here and you have a little uh, turning access port, which you run your cable from the bottom, from here, run through there, and you can run it. And you can have, you know, barbecues, or you could connect whatever you want using the 110 outlet. Again, very large compartment here. Um, last compartment. Again, we have all of our uh, traveling gear, Christmas stuff, holiday stuff, and our our map, our traveling map, which is filling in quite nice. But there we go. Now you do have also an outside TV, which is very, very cool. outside TV if I could get the key to work <laughs> there you go so you can see you got a Bose bar there it's a Samsung that that TV telescopes out and it's really 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 cool now Let me just show you around the other side, some of the other compartments. The other compartments are more for the utility part of the RV. And, you know, we have your uh, electrical here with your power cord, in case you guys are wondering. It's got a 50 amp power cord on a reel, um, just in case you guys. There we go. Really, really cool. Here's the generator side of things 8000 onan quiet diesel generator it's very neat and what i love about renegade is on the wet bay the wet bay is very cool because it's, everything's right there um if you can see the the signs are actually etched into the etched with water it's not stickers that fall off these are just caution stickers but it actually has etched in black and gray dump hose reel uh, this, is an, this is an electric hose reel as well so it actually tells you you know black tank flush 
everything there. Here's our home house our water heater. You know, port in the bottom, low point drains. And here's your tank fill and your city water. Okay. Next compartment, these two next compartments are just the black and gray tanks. Now this RV has 75 gallons of black and 75 gallons of, of uh, gray, which is a large capacity. It also has 150 gallons of fresh water capacity and that tank is under the bed. So it, it also maintains, um, it'll stay warm in cold, cold winter days. So this coach is heated using the AquaHot 250D system, which is a hydronic heating system um, these, you know, some people have had some, you know, uh, not so good experiences with, uh, with this, uh, but I find it, you know, I've had no problems with my, with my aqua hot, as long as you keep the, you know, keep your, your hydraulic heating fluid at level. I really have had no problem with this aqua hot system. It's worked very, very good for me. Very, very good. And you use this to heat the, uh, you know, your hot water and also, uh, to heat the whole coach inside and it heats it very, very well. And, and these two compartments are the battery compartments. Here you have the uh, inverter. Here you have an inverter, which is a Zangthrax inverter. Um, here's another thing about Renegade. They, they, everything's very organized. You're not gonna have loose cables. You're not gonna have, you know, some of these uh, motorhomes. Even I've seen $1 million home motorhomes where you have cables everywhere, strut about, very disorganized. Renegade really organizes everything. And I'll show you here. See, everything's nice and organized here. This is the battery bay. It is nice and marked. There's no ambiguity about anything. There you go. This is the uh, two batteries. All right, guys. So here are the fuel tanks. It's got two 50-gallon uh, fuel tanks on each side, saddle. Got, uh, diesel tanks, and here's DF. Um, I'll be giving you a tour of the interior pretty soon. And here she is. Let's go to the interior. Okay, guys, here we are. Uh, this will be the interior uh, tour. As you can see, I have the slides out. This coach has two slides. One for the bedroom area here, and one for the living room. <clears throat> so as you can see here, so this uh, model is the bunk model, the 40 VBH. Uh, here is the front cockpit area, much like a, you know, almost like, you know, like a semi truck. We have all of our dashes and our, our air brakes, our um, collision mitigation system. This one's equipped with a collision mitigation system. Um, which helps you a lot. <laughs> um, these seats are very, very comfortable and these seats actually uh, churn. All right, so this one here has a top bunk. It's about the size of a queen size bed with, with its own TV. Very, very cool. And right here we have your own uh, shade that retracts the nice little skylight area, which is really cool tracks and extends so my son really enjoys this when he goes uh, to the national parks and state parks he actually has the best view in the house <laughs> when he's when he's because he sleeps up there here we have the room sorry excuse me here we have the tv and if you can see the tv is directly in front of the couch which i really enjoy this couch actually turns into a queen's ass bed as well so as far as sleeping in this coach right there you could possibly sleep two up here here you could sleep two adults that's four here you could sleep one or two children this dinette also turns into a sleeper you move this table down um, so that's you know two adults two adults has four two kids over here in the dinette area and here's a bunk the bunk excuse a mess because we just came back from a trip so here you can sleep um, Two adults or two kids. These are the biggest bunks in the industry. These are almost 80 inches long. Look how deep that goes in there. And so two adults here and the master bedroom, which you can see, it's also a mess. 
excuse we just came back from a trip literally maybe a couple of hours ago um, I just wanted to give you a um, quick rundown of the interior so um, as far as the again renegade you're not gonna find any manufacturer that has the quality of the woodwork this mahogany wood okay I mean the quality is just incredible I mean this is solid solid wood uh, we have pantries here and we have drawers that actually pull out as well here which is great all these drawers here pull out you have some bigger drawers here actually pull out as well and, and you know this comes with a Samsung uh, refrigerator the large one actually <laughs> um, we have some water and stuff there we just cleaned out the fridge but it comes with a Samsung refrigerator which freeze freezer in the bottom okay very spacious I have it off now but probably we'll be turning it on pretty soon here we have the microwave okay this is an induction oven microwave as well very very cool Thirty seconds. All right. So here, this so this is the main panel. We have two panels here actually. One panel here, and I have a similar panel in the bedroom uh, over here. Uh, another panel over here. There we go. As far as the bedroom, uh, sorry, the bathroom area. You know, we have a angle shower glass very very cool all hard hard surface you can feel you can feel how hard all these cabinets are it's incredible they really it does make look at these look at these doors these doors slide and this becomes um so we could shut off this door here let me just show you here so you can shut off this door here and shut off there's a door here, another door here. Let me show you here in the master bedroom. And the kids will have their own compartment area here. Um, here, you know, Greg comes with his own washer, Splendid washer and dryer, which is excellent. These work great. I've, I've even done laundry in the middle of the road as I'm traveling. With the 8000 online generator, you can actually run pretty much everything. This door slides in this direction. Um, so again, Renegade, you can't go wrong with Renegade. The, the quality build, let me look at this. You know, this is solid wood, solid wood, all the way around. And you have, we have multiple, these compartments go all the way across. All these compartments go all the way across. Uh, and same for the other side, and just solid wood. I mean, look at this, look at that solid wood. Look at those hinges. And that's what we went with Renegade because not so much the luxury, but the quality. You want a rig that's gonna last a long, long time. Kitchen, uh, here we have induction, cooktop, <sighs> kind of heavy, but try to do it with one hand. So the other one is the same, two induction burners. So you have to sort of get your own. And then here we have the sink. Uh, and here. Again, please excuse the mess, we just got back. But I wanted to film with you guys and show you the rig that we use as a family to travel. Okay. Now we tow, with this rig, we tow a, a Ram 3500, which also has a tent. And we use that Ram with a tent on top to also go to the more remote places. So we travel two different ways as well. Okay. So this is it. Now the beautiful thing about this rig is when it closes up, you have access to everything. I mean, you could walk you could walk right through this you know corridor here sideways not a problem you don't have to you know you don't have to walk sideways you don't have to sort of slide over no you have access to literally everything when you close everything up here okay so just wanted to give you a quick uh, rundown of our rig and i thank you and next week we'll be filming again thanks so much for coming guys welcome to renegade travel adventures <laughs>